for tuning back into Pets on Parade. Now we have a couple cuties named after gorgeous actors, and these two can definitely be on the silver screen as well, don't you think, Bree? Oh, they are beautiful and so soft. We've got Margo here and DiCaprio over here, and they're both wearing their tuxedos all ready to go back to your house and be dressed up for you. Uh, they're about six months old, so they're a slightly older kitten. And they came in a big batch of kittens that were found outside and with no mama. So they were fostered, taken care of, and they got over their, their kitty colds and they're happy and healthy now. But something to consider with AHS is that you're able to sign up and foster wonderful pets like these guys. And it really helps free up a space in the kennel, uh, a kennel in the shelter. And then you're able to love these guys, enjoy them. And AHS helps take care of their medical needs, their checkups, their shots get some spayed and neutered, and then look, they're up for adoption and ready to go into their home, forever home, correct? So come down, Margo and DiCaprio, they are just wonderful. Oh my gosh, and maybe even adopt them together. They're a handsome pairing. Thank you so much, ladies. And we talk about how important our don't kidnap kittens messaging is all the time. So the team got together and put together this rather funny video to tell the message in a different way. Let's take a look. There's any means, Sidey Emergency Dispatch, how may I help you? Okay, so I just found this car, it's all alone. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask that you calm down. Um, how long has the car been there? Uh, it's been at least an hour. Okay, sir, well, an hour really isn't... I'm sure it's scared, it's lonely, I don't know where its owner is. Um, I understand, but cars are always going to be best off with their original owners, and a chance that the car's owner is gonna come back is highly likely. Um, we typically ask that when you find a car, you just be a little bit patient and... Patient? It's been an hour and the car is all alone. Okay, well, maybe the owner is just off getting groceries. Can I help you? Hello? 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 You wouldn't steal a car just because it's all alone in the parking lot. Well, the same goes for kittens, even though our first instincts are to help. Most likely, Mom Cat is out getting food and will be back in a few hours. For more information on what to do if you find a litter of kittens all by themselves, make sure to visit azhumane.org slash foundkittens. And shout out to Rob, Jared, and Kate, not only for the life-saving work that they do every day, but also for being such great actors. Who knew that AHS had amazing people? I think they need some Emmy nominations coming their way soon. Like we mentioned in the video, make sure to visit azhumane.org slash foundkittens on what to do if you find a litter in need. And of course, we're going to our next cutie. We saw the sweet girl earlier, but we can't get enough of a good thing, especially a gorgeous Daisy, Lisa. Now she's being a little wiggle worm up here, but believe it or not, this Bichon, four-year-old Bichon mix, was abandoned in our lobby. We have resources, not necessary to do that, but at least she was brought to the right place. She was matted, um, and as you can see, she had to have her hair completely shaved down. She got a little bit straighter of a coat than a Bichon, so that's why we're calling her a mix. So keep in mind, a dog like this that normally um, is fully coated, and, and white dogs especially, you have to be careful in the sun. You can see she's got some darker pigmentation underneath her skin, but white dogs, especially those with like a pink nose and really, really light skin, are very susceptible to being outdoors. They can get sunburn, skin cancer is an issue, um, too much sun, dogs can get you know eye damage and UV damage just like people can. So please be mindful, um, dogs are not be, uh, supposed to be out Side, especially in our heat and the sun, and especially these light coated ones. They do make sunscreen for dogs as well if you do have to have your dog outside. But this little wiggle worm is going to be up for adoption now. Like I said, four years old. She's affectionate, she is happy, and she absolutely loves treats. So come down and meet Daisy. Oh my gosh, and just everyone that she meets falls in love. So I'm sure she'll be out of here in no time. Thank you so much, Lisa. And now it's time for another beautiful girl. Man, she just seems like a princess, Perry. Please tell us all about Miss Elsa. Well, you got it right, because this is a cat of royalty. This is a, a Siamese Devon Rex cat. And uh, they are from Great Britain, and they were favored by royalty. So calling her princess was correct. And they have some unique characteristics about them. One is that they have this very, very triangular face, very, very high cheekbones, blue eyes, usually oversized ears, the Elsa's aren't quite that way. And then they have this, you're not gonna be able to see it too much on, on the cameras here, but she's got this really curly, 
coat, which is very, very soft, almost like a, like a Rex rabbit. Here it is. There's the curls you can see. And I understand that uh, because this coat is so soft and so gentle that you really should refrain from brushing a cat like this. Just let their coat be. Um, they are also known as great jumpers, so cat condos would be great for them because they really, really love it. Look at the looks she's giving you right now. What a pretty kitty. She's got these big old kitten mittens on, too. She's a polydactyl. Did you see these right here? She's got extra toes on both of her feet. Uh, she's in her confiscation. She had some stomach problems. We got her back to her Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital, and she is all set to go. Oh, so cute. Thank you so much, Perry. And we're super thankful to Bissell Pet Foundation that last Friday and Saturday, we are able to adopt out 449 pets, a record here at HS. But we still have a few great pets that, are, that were left behind, including Brooke, an absolute sweetheart four-year-old Staffordshire, who is the perfect mix of energetic and couch potato. Then we have Pumpkin, an 11-year-old Fireball, who is just as deserving of a happy ending as his younger kitten friends. Visit azhumane.org slash adopt to see all of the pets who are still looking for their forever homes. And just a heads up, this pic might be a little hard to see. I've seen this girl in our hospital for quite some time getting bandages for her head. Um, she had a really severe wound on her head that really that picture doesn't even do justice. Um, our work can be pretty heartbreaking at times, but then you see triumphant stories like Beatrice's and it just makes it all worth it. Right, Bree? Beatrice is wonderful. So the Phoenix PD came across her, and of course you can see she's healing up right now, but she was definitely in bad shape, and she, uh, she was lucky that Phoenix PD saw her and made sure to get her to Second Chance Animal Hospital where she got taken care of, and she is healing up really well, and she, <laughs> she loves rubs. She is a complete sweetheart. She's a great size. She's probably going to be a little bit more active in your home, when uh, she gets settled in, because she's about a year old. Um, but she also has valley fever, so she will need a medication um, quite some time through her life to, keep, to make sure that she uh, doesn't have a relapse with that. But look at her. She's beautiful. She's going to continue healing. She loves to be rubbed, which is so great. But she's been just such a sweetheart here in the studio. Come down and meet Beatrice. Oh my gosh, and at one point she was literally smiling. Oh. She loves those rubs. Thank you, Bree. And make sure to keep it tuned right here to Pets on Parade. <laughs> We're going to introduce you to Buster during a filibuster when we get back.